<laughs> Dude, is it going? Are we on? Are we clear? We got. Oh, <clears throat> welcome. Is it going? <laughs> welcome to Comedy Jack Journal ninety four. Numbers are hard. Welcome to Comedy Jack. Comedy, comedy, comedy. Yeah. What? Is this started now? No. <laughs> are you lying to me? Yeah, you started it. What are you talking about? Well, it'd be a fool of me to continue on as if you did start it and then find out you actually didn't. But. Can I start it right now? It's Comedy Journal Jack Week 94. <clears throat> At 1800 hours, Friday, the 2nd of November 2018. In a group text from Rachel to Mini Me and myself, Rachel says, Don't tell Sarah and Matthew about the hallway. I want to surprise them. So Sarah and Matthew were gone in college and Rachel had redone the hallway and painted it, put trim on it. So it looked nice before, it looks really nice now. So she didn't want us to tell about it. Minnie Me says, okay. I said, cool, so we don't have to get them anything else for Christmas? That was the end of the conversation. And that was also from Friday of week uh, 93. So now the real week, 94, <clears throat> it's, it's very exciting. At 1025 on Tuesday, the 6th of November, 2018, <clears throat> I was talking to my mother about telling my sister not to tell herself a secret because as my mom said, she can, she can keep secrets. That's all I thought my mother would have said she couldn't, but she said she could, to which I said only one. I don't know which one. She's still keeping it. 1955, Thursday the 8th. Rachel was telling a story about this little girl who was riding in the back seat of a car whose family she was giving a ride to somewhere or something along those lines. And the girl found a Powerade bottle in the back. And she says, whose is this? Rachel replies, seen as how your <clears throat> Rachel replies, seen as how it's in my car, it's probably mine. That's logic. Personally, I would have referred to that as deductive reasoning, but it's still logic. Speaking of logic, the little girl replies, I thought you weren't supposed to drink and drive. And this week from the lips of the starving comedian... If I had a DeLorean, I would probably only drive it from time to time. Okay, that's it.